Speaker Nancy Pelosi of California, and Senator Chuck Schumer of New York, the majority leader, rallied every Democrat in Congress last month behind the budget blueprint, which sets the stage for them to push through ambitious initiatives to address climate change, provide funding for paid family leave, child care and education benefits, and increase taxes on the wealthy, all in one party line vote. That kind of goes with Bernie Sanders' theory. He he wants to get a, get along with the corrupt Democrats. You know, Joe Biden is is his best friend, etc. Oh, Schumer, come on, you know, we're friends. That sucks. I like the hate. I like that feeling of hate. Fuck you. Big Pharma and the oil industry are trying to derail a massive spending bill that Democrats are desperate to try to get passed. Um, wow. Yeah, this, yeah this, it, this, this is... This is some real maneuvering, isn't it? It is to shut down this, to shut down reconciliation. Yeah. You know, first of all, real quick, reconciliation is what? Yeah, it's basically where the uh, uh, chair of the budget committee, Bernie Sanders, can go through, can pass a bill with only a 50 uh, uh, vote margin, actually 51 vote yeah, margin. 51. Which means you have to have every single Democrat on board and you have to get VP Kamala Harris to come in and be the tie-breaking vote. Right. You can only do reconciliation three times per session. Um, so it's kind of like a little genie. You got to choose your wishes very carefully. Right. And this would be their third wish, but it's a big one. And it's one that this country needs. Ties up infrastructure with the budget. The, 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 you got Democrats who are saying, oh, we can't, we hate this because... You're taking away, they're not saying this, but it's affecting the, the, it's affecting the oil industry and it's affecting big pharma. Here's what's so ugly. It affects big pharma. These are Democrats who are willing to say, hey, you know what? I am against the idea of lowering prices for drugs. I mean, can you imagine that? The other thing that these Democrats are saying is I'm really against making any move away from fossil fuel. That is the, that is a simple truth about what's going on here. And it's Democrats, it's moderate, what you'd call moderate Democrats, but some of them have not been characterized as moderate in the past. Right. And, and let's go, let's name them here. We got Gonheimer, uh, Bordeaux, Case, Costa, uh, Kuehler, Golden, Gonzalez, Schrader, Vila. And of course you have the U.S. Chamber of Commerce right now running ads, complimenting and praising all nine mm. of these Democrats. This, by the way, was put together by David Sirota. Uh, over at oh, Jacobin, what, and he's it, it, wonderful. I love what he does th this, here. This report by Sirota in, in, in Jacobin Magazine is excellent. Uh, let's put the names of those folks up there, and let's let the American public see who's messing with them. Oh, good. I get to hate, I get to hate Vincent Gonzalez from Texas. These are the folks. Yeah, and, and this, this is a must-pass piece of legislation. Yeah. It gives the public something real, some real benefits to their daily lives. You can't have these big interests come in and try to kill them. Big pharma, big oil, always in charge of our lives. No difference here. Farron, thank you for joining us. Okay.